A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Bruce Wayne is my cover. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out, it's all over. I hear you loud and clear. But it didn't stop Bruce Wayne from dealing with a thug like Maury. In public. What the hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Yeah, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side. what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. 
get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well. But you fight alone, you will die alone. <laughs> See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. Got Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro free. This one is mine. Feeling, Batman.
Batman? Batman, what's wrong? Jim. Batman! Batman! And say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman... We're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ! Come on! The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. I, who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. But you better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Be sure to loop in Waller. She can help you. I already did. Didn't have a choice. Now that Waller's my superior, I have to loop her into everything. Yeah, uh, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Well, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. I'll 
Walford. Prep the med bay. We're going to need it. not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Hal. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. <sighs> I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. <clears throat> Got it? I'm good, thanks. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that... melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? 
We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover. But I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes. And then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, really, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels... Uh, no, Willie, really, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh oh, uh... <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. Yeah, besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You make progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse! That's who you are! <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I 
hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let him know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way... Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, cool. They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um, wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. I am so happy, John. Deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll yeah, she'll she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could. Please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Oh, damn it. 
Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you. Bruce is a good sport. Wooden said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? I want to run this town, just like Falcone, just like my father. You can help me do that. Uh-huh. Sure. The Playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. He showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. Don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know? He's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Hmm. Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? 
Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe a whole kingpin of Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, us. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. 